the world prepares itself for the Great Reset. Some say we have to distribute wealth to everyone. Others, that we have to take care of nature, plant new trees. All this is good, but not enough. To give or to do things is important. But he who loves, gives himself entirely. Humanity begins to prepare itself for the great return to normality. Salve Maria. My name is Father Timothy and welcome once again to our Sunday Reflections. Tuesday is All Souls Day. Don't forget to send us the names of your deceased relatives for us to have, it, have them on the altar for the Mass. People start to talk about a great reset, to begin anew, to do away with masks, do away with social distancing. But others speak about even more, distributing wealth equally among all, to take care of nature, plant new trees. All this is very important. We have to think about many things, but it's not enough. We must give one step more. Because if we distribute wealth equally amongst all, there will always be someone who will know how to control the faucet and dishonestly take what doesn't belong to him. If we give people liberty to communicate and we don't have honest people that say the truth boldly, liberty will become tyranny. If we give more freedom to humanity for everyone to do and to think whatever they want, there will always be those dishonest ones who will know how to manipulate the others and turn the others into disposable objects. The great step we have to take begins in man himself. A new man makes a new humanity. In today's Gospel, a scribe asks our Lord, what is the greatest of all commandments? And our Lord responds with a song, a famous song known by all of the Israelites. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. In the first reading, again, we will have the song entirely. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words, which I enjoin to you today. They will be the fount of your happiness. The happiness that everyone looks for in this new step, in this new beginning, starts with the listening, listening to the Word of God. This Word of God is not a chain that ties us, but two wings to make us fly. Because when our Lord says, Thou shalt not kill, He is saying yes to life, the life of each and every one of us and the life of the others. When our Lord says, Thou shalt not commit adultery, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. He is saying yes to the respect we must have for our own body and for that of our neighbor. When God's law says, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods, he says yes to respect for that which belongs to me and that which belongs to the others. So we must Pay attention to begin again, to begin in a good way. We must pay attention to the Ten Commandments of God's law. So simple. If we fulfill and obey these Ten Commandments, humanity will take a big new step, a new step in the line of good, a new step in the line of felicity. 
We must pay attention to these Ten Commandments. If we reorder our lives according to these Ten Commandments, mankind will take a step forward, will take a big step in the line of goodness, in the line of its own philosophy. To do things and to give things is good, it's excellent. But he who loves gives himself entirely. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Salve Maria once again, and until next week.